Welcome back everybody. Tonight we are going to be installing our new choke lever on our Polaris. As you can see, the old one broke off at the connection. Unfortunately, we've gotten no snow this winter, so that leaves us plenty of time to maintain this, make sure it is in perfect condition for when we do get snow. Um, but yeah, let's jump into this and get this swapped out. Um, again, we got the whole kit here. Uh, pretty simple to swap out, and it's also found on a lot of other sleds, a lot of different years. Um, so hopefully this is helpful to see how to swap out your choke lever. All right, so the first step is going to be to loosen this plastic ring around the choke. Um, if it is on there a little snug, you can go ahead and use a shop towel with some pliers, uh, just doing that to prevent scratching it and break it loose from the beginning. And then that will simply come right off of there. And you just wanna be able to set this in place so you don't lose it. The other thing we've gone ahead and done is remove these top bolts out of the shroud and we've loosened these pins here so that we can have access back up inside here where the wires run. All right, so we've taken the sides and the top off, and now you can see inside there, that is the back side of the choke. Um, and here it comes out on the front. So you can remove this ring, and we will be able to push this back through. All right, so now we have access to that and the part that we are going to replace is inside here let me show our kit right here we've got this piece with the spring there's a little pin that also holds this in as well so let's go ahead and get that opened and pull this one apart all right and on these newer ones you're going to notice that these are sealed so if you just take a razor blade and work your way just around this. That should give you enough separation so then you can pull this top part off. All right, and so as you can see, once we just slid the razor nicely in there, when you pull this, now you're getting it to uh, separate right there at the joint. So we can just wiggle that off. All right, so once you separate it, you can go ahead and pull it off. All right, so once you have the end off, you will see with your new piece, you have these holes on each side. That is where the ball from the choke cable itself will connect into there. And then once it's inside this box, they won't be able to slide out. So go ahead and get those in just like that. Then we will go ahead and put our spring back on and then we can go ahead and reinstall the box around that. The flat side is what is going to be facing down and we're just gonna to wanna to line this up. All right, so once we've got the choke cable connected to the new lever, you can see we just have to push it in just a little bit further, but it is all lined up. So we'll go ahead and use both hands, close that up and feed it back through the front. All right, so this is what it looks like when it is pushed back together. If it didn't already, you can go ahead and add some white lithium grease inside of here to keep stuff from binding. Ours had plenty in it, so we just left it as is. So we'll just drop this back behind here. And then it'll pop out just like that. All right, and we can go ahead and replace that washer. Get this screwed back on to hold it in place while we get our lever attached. So as you can see, when you put it on, you can see the light goes right through it. So sometimes if these break while they're compressed, you'll have to pull it back out or adjust your cables, but luckily, Ours was in the open position, so we'll be able to access to put this pin back in. And here's the pin itself. 
So we'll go ahead and run that through and we should be good. And another thing you wanna be careful of is to not drop this, which I fortunately dropped right in there. I was able to get it with the magnetic screwdriver head. So we'll go ahead and finish putting that back in without losing it and we'll give it a shot. All right, so now we've got the lever installed for the choke and it is fully functional, operational. Uh, definitely with plastic parts in the winter, not always going to stand up to the elements, but fairly simple. Just make sure you kind of try not to lose any of your parts because that can make it a lot more difficult But now that we've got the choke, let's see if we can get it fired up. Well, we were gonna attempt to get it started, but we have got a broken spark plug. So we are gonna have to run to the shop, pick some more of these up, and uh, then we'll be back. But thanks again for watching. Uh, hope this helped some of you guys with replacing that choke lever on the player snowmobile. And uh, we're going to go grab a few more spark plugs. And next, we'll be working on getting this thing fired up. It's probably got some older fuel in it because we didn't get a chance to ride it this season. But then we've got plenty more projects to go ahead and work on. So if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.